Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. This is Hania with the Teal Tajin and today I come with you to you with a quick tip on how to clean and use artichokes. So here in North Africa and Algeria we have artichokes almost all year round. There are only very few months where we don't have them available. So inshallah I'm going to show you how to clean them and how that we use them here in, in Algeria, North Africa and also give you some other recipe ideas for some international ways to use artichokes inshallah. So before I'm just going to give you a quick tip. I'm going to use some lemon and rub this all over my fingers so that it lessens the amount of darkening blackness that will come over my fingers while cleaning and slicing up the artichokes. And also I have some water here which I'm going to be putting the lemon in for the artichokes to stand in later. This is so that the artichokes don't blacken and oxidize while we clean the rest of the artichokes, inshallah. The first way I'm going to show you how to clean an artichoke, this is basically for steaming artichokes and also stuffing the whole artichokes. So here in Algeria and also parts of France and Italy and even Greece, they like to steam the whole artichoke and use pick off the leaves and dip it in, in an aioli garlic mayo sauce or even an olive oil and use that as an appetizer. So this is inshallah the first way I'm going to show you. So the, we would like to begin by cutting off the stem here. So this one has a small stem. So we just want to cut that off and we want to make sure that the artichoke is sitting nicely on our countertop. Discard the waste and then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut around the leaves so as you can see here, there are some dark spots and we would just like to remove all those. see here I've nicely trimmed all of the leaves it looks really nice it looks like a flower mashallah so at this point we can put it into some water or we can make a stock and steam or boil these and eat it as a salad appetizer or we can do Italian style and we can open the leaves just a bit like this open the leaves as you can see I'm doing here and then remove the insides of the leaves here and then we can put a breadcrumb stuffing or even a stuffing with ground mincemeat or even with a tuna stuffing such as it's done in Italy. So inshallah that's the first way. As you can see here I'm using a spoon and I'm just removing the inside leaves and also some of this uh, fuzzy kind of hair that's inside of the artichokes. And then inshallah once you see that all of it is removed then you can lay in your stuffing, the stuffing of your choice. And then inshallah as you can see I've used the spoon to take out all of the, the inner leaves and the inner 
what we could call hair from the artichokes. Now you have the nice center is void, so you can fill it with your favorite stuffing. You can do like a breadcrumb olive oil stuffing and add some nuts in there perhaps, or even some ground mincemeat, or you can even do something like a seafood one with tuna if you like. So inshallah that was our first way to clean our artichoke. So for our second way of cleaning artichokes, I'm going to show you how to clean it for stuffing for, it, for excuse me. So for our second preparation, I'm going to show you how to clean artichokes for, for doma. So doma is a stuffed vegetable that is eaten and prepared all over the Mediterranean, including here in uh, North Africa and Algeria. So for that, we just begin by taking our knife, cleaning, cutting the bottom off, such as this. This part we can discard. And then we have this bottom here, which we can rub with our lemon so that it stops the oxidation. So then we continue taking off the leaves. Once you've removed all of the leaves, then you can you can take a knife or you can optionally use a vegetable cutter and just clean the bottom just like this, trimming off the harder leaves, exposing the white inner part like this. You can even do that for the sides here, like this, like that. until you get a nice piece like this and then again brush it with your lemon so that it doesn't oxidize there will be some browning of course but this will help a lot with it and then we're just going to continue by trimming these here And then again, you'll be left with this part, brush it again with your lemon. And then what we do is take a spoon and just scoop out the hairs, that inner part here, which is kind of like hair or feathers. It's really unpleasant in the mouth, so be sure to remove all of those. And then again, see it's already oxidized. You see how quickly it just oxidized that quickly. See, subhanallah. And then you might want to just give it a little trim again, making sure that all the hair is out from the inside, like this, making a nice crevice for your stuffing stuffing of your choice once again continuously rub your artichoke with the lemon and inshallah this is our artichoke that we can use for stuffing in dolma or you can also use it as a little container or boat for a salad of your choice just steam it right up and put some salad in there, such as a potato salad or mixed vegetable salad of your choice. So this is our second artichoke.
And here is our third artichoke, which we are going to be cutting for for thaw jeans, including this tobeja dish that I will be doing later on for our dinner for my family. And this is how we're going to clean it, and we're going to cut it in two quarters. So again, we're going to cut the bottom off, this part here. Discard it and take off the leaves. So as you can see, we have the same as with that one over there. So all we're going to basically do is take our vegetable cutter and clean it up a bit. You can also use the scissors, clean it up a bit, whatever works for you, whatever is more convenient. If scissors work, use scissors. If the knife works, use a knife. So then we're going to top, cut off the top here as you can see. And we're going to be left with this. So again, we're going to rub our artichoke with the lemon on the bottom very generously so that it doesn't oxidize. Again, it will have some oxidation, but not as much as before. So we're going to trim this up with our vegetable peeler. You know, we want to remove all of the <coughs> spots there. And then and then we're going to remove the hairs from the inside using a spoon as before. Hanune. And then we can just give it a quick rinse and then use the lemon to clean it up. And then what we want to do is take our knife cut it in half like this or cut it into quarters such as this and then this is how they like to use it for stews or even soups here in Algeria so again put it in our acidulated water and then we're going to do our next one okay that so for our last artichoke we're going to be preparing it in a similar way to when we quartered it over there, but it's going to be a little bit different with leaving some of the stem at the bottom. So here, instead of cutting off the bottom, we're just going to take off the bottom stems. We're going to leave the stem on. Obviously, you'd like to have a longer stem, but this, this is what I found in the market today.
So here we go, we've removed the stems, the outer leaves, and we've left some of the stem here. So here you see I've removed the outer stems. So now all we're going to do is take our vegetable peeler and just give it a good trim. So this bottom part, it's, it is a bit tricky because you do want to leave as much of the stems as possible, but remove the outer bits because they are hard. You do want to have a good quality vegetable peeler to do this because an inexpensive, not that great quality one will just break on you while doing this. You can actually use a knife if you feel more comfortable with that, but I found that the shoe peeler is so much easier. And then again, we want to clean it and brush it with the lemon so that it doesn't oxidize as much. This bottom part will kind of give it a little trim. You don't want to trim too much because you want the bottom to be on there, but you want to do a great, the best job that you can. Cut this part here. You can use a knife or you can use the vegetable peeler, whichever works for you. So like this part, I'm gonna use the vegetable peeler to give it a nice trim. And then the inside, once again, we're gonna just remove with a spoon. get that nice and clean. You use your lemon. Brush it really well so that you don't get that much oxidation. And then from this point we're just gonna give it a cut. So then here we're just gonna lay it on its head. Cut it. You can cut it into quarters or you can cut it even further into six. Whichever you like, whichever you prefer. And then these pieces here you can use in your soups, your stews, thaw jeans, or you can actually marinate these in olive oil and vinegar and have marinated.